Let's take you to the Sierra right now with this new video from Soda Springs. It's been snowing. Understatement of the year. It's a small community up in the Nevada County, just west of Donner Pass. Uh, the woman who posted this says it really puts into perspective the amount of snow they've been getting in the Sierra. Wow. All that snow has added up to huge gains for California's snowpack. It's at 222 percent of normal. The scientists who work in the Sierra are finding more than just snow when they conduct surveys. They're also finding microplastics. NBC Bay Area's Christy Smith spoke with a researcher about what the impact of that discovery could have. And so far, we have found some microplastics in some of our snow samples. We still have a lot of work to do. Monica Arienzo is an associate research professor in hydrology at the Desert Research Institute in Reno. She's taking a close look at the snowpack in the Sierra Nevada mountains. The reason why we want to study the snow is because snow is an excellent recorder of what's going on in the atmosphere. And and so we really want to know if these pollutants are present in the atmosphere and then making their way into our snowpack. Lately, they have a lot to contend with in collecting samples. The March 3rd snow survey at Phillips Station showed the continued impact of storms and atmospheric rivers. Our survey today recorded a snow depth of 116.5 inches and a snow water content of 41.5 inches. That is 177% of average to date. Each sample in the study takes about a week to analyze. And this year, there's been so much snow in this year as it's going to take me quite a bit of time to get through it all. It raises the question of how microplastics are ending up in the snow. What we think is happening is it's known that some pollutants can actually be deposited with the snow as the snow falls. So essentially, as the snow falls through the atmosphere, it collects pollutants like microplastics. California is leading the way in understanding microplastics in key water resources. To test these different water resources to understand presence of microplastics. And so our study is one piece of this much bigger puzzle of understanding microplastics in the environment. The the study is in its second year and it's a five-year project with much more to explore. Not only looking at microplastics in the snow, but then also looking at how those microplastics may be moving from the snowpack to our streams and rivers and then into our water resources. Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.